Welcome everyone to Houston News. Today is April 3rd, 2019. Your source of news before any trade decision. And what you know, we're going to talk about Tesla and two main problems that is facing this company as we go throughout this week. There are two events that can actually place this particular stop in a euphoric mood to where prices will move higher or in a very sad mood to where the prices will continue to move to the downside. So we're going to talk about that today. And that's the question I want to ask you all. Will Tesla give a... Or will they get a... That's the question that we need to try to figure out today. We're going to look at this article uh, given by the street. It was posted today to the internet. And we're going to go through some of the things that have led Tesla up to this point and to try to determine according to the price charts, whether or not this stock will see a continuation of higher prices or will we in fact see the market continue to move to the downside. So we thank you all for watching this video. Let's go ahead and get started into it right now. You can see that Tesla, uh, a lot of people who are interested in the Tesla are very interested this week because they're going to be reporting their first quarter sales and production number this week. And as well, Elon is going to have a court scheduled meeting this week as well on Thursday. A federal hearing is going to go on with that Twitter battle that he had came up with an agreement with the SEC sometime last year. Uh, now they're trying to hold him in contempt. And that can be obviously quite negative if the judge of that particular matter uh, sees fit that he needs to remove himself from the board of Tesla. Okay. Uh, during the first quarter, Musk and Tesla issued a series of announcements that painted an unclear picture of what sales and delivery of his cars will look like going forward. They included an announcement, then they reversed it, followed by a reversal statement that Tesla would transition to online sales only, a move that confused many analysts. Not only the analysts, it confused their workers. It confused the investments, uh, the investors who are interested in this stock. It confused everybody in the financial market as to what in the world are they doing over there in Tesla. Another point that leads Tesla to this particular juncture uh, today is that the federal tax credits for the electric cars was cut in half in January. And a lot of analysts who cover Tesla stock are definitely anticipating the market to see that as a hindrance in the production of, or the sales of their vehicles, considering that the individual who purchased these Tesla cars are not going to get that $7,500 credit. Instead, they're going to get $3,700. Now, what Elon went ahead to do to try to ease the pain that many of his uh, customers were going to endure with that slash in tax credit, he went ahead and cut the prices of his vehicles across the board by $2,000. Again, that will also hinder the profitability of this company going forward if he's cutting the prices uh, by $2,000 just to try to alleviate some of the pain that his customers will endure by the tax, the energy tax credits being cut in half. OK. Also, uh, Elon went ahead and told uh, some of his investors or people interested in his company that challenges uh, delivering his vehicles in Europe and China that don't expect a profit to come out in the first quarter. Uh, a Morgan Stanley analyst slashed their delivery estimates from 55,000 vehicles to 50,000 for the first quarter over those concerned delays. OK, in March, the car maker also announced the arrival of its long awaited 35,000 Model 3, which sparked a debate about the availability of the lower price car means for Tesla's margins in quarters going forward okay again and then we get to this battle with the sec okay or what they want to on this article try to insinuate as a battle that they have a hearing this week and the agency talking about the sec wanted to go ahead and ask the federal judge over that case to hold elon in contempt of court over the tweets that he posted in february about his missed uh tweet about the production numbers that they're anticipating for 2009 okay and it, he reversed his tweet and came back and re clarified his points that he made. Uh, the attorneys for the SEC charged that the tweets demonstrate that Musk's tweets are not being 
reviewed by any individuals, preferably his attorneys, as was agreed upon by both parties in the settlement between the SEC and the courts. The SEC's position is wrong at virtually every level. This is what Elon's attorneys are trying to say. And I'm not really 100% exactly sure what all they said, but you can tell here on this article that they only pointed out these words in quotations. The SEC's position is wrong about is wrong at virtually every level. It literally seems that they don't have anything to go against the SEC. Now, uh, oral arguments are scheduled for tomorrow afternoon, Eastern Standard Time. And if Elon is found in contempt, these are some of the things that can happen. Uh, the consequences could include more fines for him and even the company or even a trial that will force him to give up his roles at Tesla. That alone right there would push this particular stock in a spiral downward move would be a lot of negativity that is not uh, that is not needed at this present time for this company. OK, so given all of that, we're going to go ahead and look at the price chart for Tesla. We haven't done Tesla in a while. And since we last did our video, we was looking at Tesla hitting that 260, maybe even a $250 price. And it did here uh, right here on this particular day, the 25th of March, the market in Tesla came and made a low of $254.46. And now you can tell uh, that this particular stock has finally overcame some resistance around 280. And today we close all the way up there at 291.81. Uh, I do see some continuation of strength coming to the market in Tesla. Uh, depending on those two biggest problems this week for Tesla, the SEC uh, meeting that is going on between Elon and SEC uh, definitely can impact this stock from moving to the upside, as well as them relinquishing their production numbers for the first quarter of 2019. And you can tell quite nicely here on the weekly bar that $300 is a resistance area in the market in Tesla. Last week was a very positive week in this space. And that's why we're getting some weakness on this current weekly bar. But if it can be overcame, if it can be overcome, excuse me, the market in Tesla will continue to move to the upside and break uh, well above that $300 price. So I just want to put this on your radar that the market in Tesla will have to break above $300 in order for us to really see some strength coming to the market. You can tell right here on this last couple of four hour bars in the space that Tesla did get inundated with some weakness and it's coming in at this price. Um, $295. Okay. That is hindering the market in Tesla from breaking above it. It was acting as support here in the background. Now it's coming in as resistance. So, um, we are seeing some minor weakness coming in on smaller time frames. and Tesla is not that bad. Not right now, but it is one of, uh, insinuating to us that this stock is going to be moving to the downside in the near term, uh, preferably starting tomorrow. So look for this stock to move lower it might hold 288 as a support and then we see a resumption to higher prices or even 244 okay now if tesla breaks 244 to the downside okay then definitely this stock has made its high and we will see a bigger drop to the downside going forward because you can tell here on the daily time frame on the market in tesla that this stock is definitely in a downtrend okay so keep your eyes open on 295 and I'm going ahead and draw this particular descending line in the market for Tesla. OK, so this is the resistance area that Tesla is going to have to overcome as we go forward throughout this week and even into the second half of 2019. OK, so uh, let's keep our eyes open in the market for Tesla. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of these lines now and we're going to follow a descending trading channel for Tesla. Okay. And this just be a near term trading channel in the market. So we can kind of gauge exactly how this particular stock is going to be trading. Okay. And you can see here by matching up these lows of these daily price bars in Tesla uh, shows you how severe uh, this particular stock really is in this space. Okay. 
So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to leave that here going forward because this is the trajectory in which the market in Tesla is actually moving. So today was actually a day as well that the market was coming across this resistance line. And today it also continued to show us that the market is not prepared to break above that price. Now it may, but again, as I stated earlier in the video, $300 is a resistance area too. So it's not that far from where we're trading currently in Tesla. So looking at Tesla on these very small time frames, it is showing us that the market is giving us some weakness. So expect some weakness to come to the market in Tesla. Keep your eyes open uh, for 288, ultimately $284. If the market in Tesla is able to hold that price, then this stock will break to the upside of this resistance area. So that's what I'm telling you now uh, needs to occur in the market in Tesla. If it does not pan out that way, then we're going to come all the way back down here from where we were trading last week. OK, so that's our analysis for Tesla. Give us your thoughts. Give us your opinion. Do you think Tesla is going to get an applause this week? Or do you think it's going to get a losing horn? <laughs> give us your thoughts. Give us your opinion. We appreciate you all taking out the opportunity out to watch this video. Make sure you all maintain your profitability and I will see you all later.